Hey YouTube, it's me, your boy, uh, B3, back to another kicking movie reaction review. Now this movie's pretty recent, pretty Reese, you could say. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there will be spoilers in this video, so uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, today we'll be viewing The Mummy 2017. So yeah, this is the one with uh, Tom Cruisey Cruz, and uh, going into it, this is a movie that I wanted to be really good, because I grew up on monster movies like this. Uh, but I was expecting it to be pretty awful, to be completely honest with you. But it was not bad. It wasn't bad. I, I actually enjoyed it. The movie itself, for the most part, pretty predictable. Uh, pretty predictable film. Uh, there's some stuff in the end I didn't predict, but other than that, pretty predictable film. Uh, the Mummy was a lady, which is new, uh, and actually I think it worked pretty well. And I kind of pitied her just a little bit, just a little bit, you know? Uh, I mean, not too much, because she was a monster, of her, but she chose to be one. So, <laughs> but there were some times where you just kind of felt a little pity for her, like when she was trapped and everything. But, uh, oh, my kitty wants wants to be in the video, too. Oh, little kitty cat, cool kitty cat, cool kitty cat, cool kitty cat. But, uh, yeah, it had creepy parts. It didn't really seem to be a horror film. It just seemed like it tried to, like, it leaned towards, oh, like it leaned towards action film a little bit more. But, uh, it was, it was fun. It was a fun film. I think it was pretty entertaining. Uh, I'd say it's worth renting. If you don't want to pay to see it, that's fine. I got, like, well, I was going to get $8 off because I bought the set with all of, the classic Universal Mummy movies, because I haven't seen all the mummies. Uh, you know, I haven't really seen the 90s ones. I, uh, I've seen the Boris Karloff one, and I'll I'll be reviewing that, that film, the Boris Karloff one, and all its sequels as well. I'll be doing that. That one will just take a while to get up, probably. But this one I try to get up sooner, because it's a more recent film. But, uh, yeah, not bad. The effects were cool. Uh, neat. It, it seemed like it tried to really be a comedy. Like there was lots of lots of com lots of jokes, lots of jokes in this film. I feel like studios think they can't make uh <laughs> like this movie would have been fine without all the jokes. I mean, so, lots of them fell flat in my opinion. Lots of them fell flat. There were some that were funny though. I I think I chuckled twice. But um it's a better start for this shared universe than I thought. Uh, lots of people don't know this. They should, but they don't. Marvel's not the first one to do shared universes like this. It was fucking uh, monster movies. Universal Studios did it with Frankenstein, Wolfman, uh, Dracula, just like uh, we're getting right now. That's, that's what Dark Universe is. Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula. This mummy is starting it. Dracula Untold was supposed to start it, but it fucking sucked, so... I haven't seen it, but I hear it fucking sucked. And it looked like it fucking sucked. So, so that's that. And I thought Victor Frankenstein was supposed to be part of it. But uh, I guess that it wasn't. I guess it was just its own film. That movie also sucked. Pretty bad. Like, it was really awful. Uh, so, you know, sorry, McAvoy, but it's true. Anyways, back to this film, The Mummy. Seems odd to start with The Mummy. It seems a little odd to start with The Mummy because the stakes in this film were so high. Global destruction were the stakes. <laughs> it was, uh... Yeah, very high stakes for the first film in, in the fucking, uh, shared universe. Honestly, even the Boris Karloff Mummy isn't my favorite classic universal monster film. It's, it just almost feels like Dracula with a different uh, monster. This one, it, it felt very different to the Boris Karloff mummy, but it did reference the, the stuff of old, like uh, Dr. Jekyll says a line from Bride of Frankenstein that I really like, uh, World of Gods and Monsters. Everyone loves that line and shit. Uh, kitty, kitty, kitty. But, uh, yeah, my, my favorite part of the movie was probably when Tom Cruise was walking into the, the place, the secret society or whatever that takes care of monsters. Uh, and you see... That's my cat. And you see, <laughs> you see, like, hints of movies to come. Like, uh, you see 
a vampire skull, the skull with the fangs, whatever, and a creature from the Black Lagoon's hand. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. It's also, those are both also in the uh, cinematic credits. But uh, Tom Cruise's character, not likable. You don't care about him at all. At all. Sorry I've been rambling a bit for this video, but this is something I'm very passionate about, and there's so many different ways I can look at this, and I just know so, so much about these monsters. Um, I've seen a lot of mummy movies, including the Hammer one, which I actually think I reviewed on my Godzilla and Gigan channel, so check that out. But, uh... Yeah, so he's just unlikable. He's not a good dude. And then he has this kind of sidekick companion guy who, spoiler alert, dies early on, who's also unlikable. He's just one of those characters that's around to make jokes but doesn't really seem important. You know what I mean? And that actor, I forget his name, but that's literally the role he always plays. is the dude that's just around to make jokes but doesn't really do anything important and is kind of the friend to the main character who's way more handsome and charming than them. You know what I mean. That's all he's around for. Uh, but yeah, Tom Cruise isn't likable. Uh, there's this other woman, Jennifer, who you don't really care about either. She says, oh, fuck. I can't just knock uh, some lighting over. Good thing I'm not using that right now. Uh, she is just being a bad girl. But yeah, uh, sh the characters just aren't likable. You don't care about them. You don't feel for them. You pity the mummy herself a little bit. But that's it. That's just when she's being, like, tortured. Or whatever the fuck. By, uh, Dr. Jekyll. So they had, they had, doc, they had Mr. Hyde in this, too. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. A little thing with them. Uh, seemed almost pointless. Like, having Dr. Jekyll in it was fine, but having Hyde in it seemed almost pointless. Like, you could have saved Hyde. Whatever. Uh, and the movie ends, unexpectedly, with, uh... <laughs> Tom Cruise becoming a god, uh, channeling Set through himself or whatever the fuck. Eh, don't chew on that. Just chewing on graphic novels. Sorry about my my kitty, my love, my angel. But uh, and that's weird. So it seems like he might come back, but also might not. So he's a monster now, uh, with the power over life and death. Like he could just be like, dead. Okay, you're dead now. Alive. You're alive now. So hopefully he won't show up again, honestly. Maybe there'll be like some stuff about tracking him or mention some things that have happened that are him. But uh, he just seems so powerful. And maybe he'll come back when there's a conglomerate Avengers destroy all monsters Justice League type film. But who the fuck knows? Who the fuck knows? But uh, it's got me more excited for Dark Universe than I thought it would be. Uh, there are all kinds of good movies I'm hoping for. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon remake, I've been wanting one of those for a while. Just because the sequels for Creature from the Black Lagoon suck, and I love that monster. So I've just been wanting to see it in more. Uh, and then they're also doing another horror Phantom of the Opera film. There was a silent horror Phantom of the Opera, which I believe I have reviewed uh, on this channel, starring Lon Chaney Sr., uh, so it's nice to be going back to the horror roots of Phantom of the Opera. It's kind of viewed as a romance nowadays, even though it's really not, like, if you think about it. <laughs> I don't... I mean, I mean it's, it's horror, but it, it is all... It's heavily romance, yeah, for sure. Uh, I haven't read the book, because I don't read French or whatever the fuck, and the translation's probably weird, but... Yeah, I've seen a few movies. So nice to be getting back to the horror roots of that. We'll be getting back to the horror roots of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which I might have also reviewed. If I haven't, I'll be doing it soon. Ooh, hey, kitty. Because uh, I definitely have filmed the review. So Hunchback of Notre Dame, back to its horror roots. Also a silent film starring Lon Chaney Sr. Uh, I'm just excited for the potential Dark Universe has. I mean, we're going to have Invisible Man and Bride of Frankenstein movies. Uh... Not excited about Johnny Depp, though. Not a Johnny Depp fan. No, it's not because of his Trump comments, which were out of line. I don't even like Trump, and I know those were out of line, but... I just think he can only play two characters, is all. And he's trash. He's, he's a fake. He's a, he's, a, he's a fucking tool. But yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you all very much for your support. The Mummy, uh... It's not bad. It's a pretty basic film. Like... Uh, I recommend seeing it via rental, 
which is cheaper. Just like red box this when it comes out. Uh, just yeah, just red, just red box this. Is is probably the best way to see it because uh, it's nothing special, but it's not bad. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Sorry, I talked mostly about other monster movies during this review, but there isn't just there's just not much to say about this movie because nothing big and crazy happened. It's not like I'm watching Wonder Woman again. I should fucking see Wonder Woman again. Anyways, uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But, uh, yeah, we got lots of cool stuff on this channel. Action figure collection updates. We got goddamn comic book collection updates. All kinds of cool, crazy stuff. Uh, but that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.